I, I think in general my work's really about relationships. It's about how people handle each other. So what I felt was that in tango I saw some sort of magic happening, some sort of uh, communication going on that was completely without any sign of even almost visual contact or or words and somehow through touch they could they could tell each other a lot of things and we could follow that conversation from outside so I've always been quite moved by tango so there's five tango couples from from Buenos Aires and uh, they're all very very different uh, they've all been working with one another as couples for a very long time so some have been working six years some ten years I mean I learned a lot from watching them because they show me a lot about commitment about commitment to one another and also about unity I've always been interested in relationships like dancing with Akram Khan or dancing with Maria Pages or dancing with Chantala that's really where I can be the most myself, strangely enough, when I am with someone else. And it's fascinating for me to see how they can relate to one another. So we have five tango couples and one contemporary dance couple. So I've been working with them on a more contemporary language, always inspired by the tango, and then with the tango uh, dancers using their own vocabulary to shift and shake it up a bit. Nelida is a bit like the fairy, <laughs> a godmother of, of all the tango dancers. <laughs> she's the rehearsal director and she's also there to guide me into the world of tango, giving me all the feedback I need to be sure that I'm not, you know, going against the nature of tango. The most important thing in tango is the feeling. Most of the time the people are thinking about the steps, about choreography. And I think it's very important, of course, that stands. But in the case of tango in, in special, I, I think the most important thing that we need to translate to the audience is that a strong feeling that we feel when we are dancing this. I've learned a lot. I mean, I've learned a lot of tango, so I spent three years on that, <laughs> being able to read it and to be able to, to see how you know, what's actually happening, because it can be quite confusing when it's not your language. And so I had to really study. But now it's, it's become like second nature. I think as, as with many other traditional forms, what I always tend to try and do is bring it into a place where people stop looking at it from a traditional perspective only. I try to look at it from a perspective that it can maybe surprise you at times, really suddenly make you look at it differently. And by using the cliches, not by going against them, because the cliches are, are important, they are part of recognition. They make you understand that you already know. And then from those cliches, you can go into, into places where it's, there's more gray zones, where things are maybe more complicated. And our reality today in relationships is very complicated, I think. So I think it's important to show that complexity. I don't need to feed on other styles in order to be inspired. I think I have a lot of inspiration without having to do that. What I am is curious, I'm very curious, and what I want is to, to honor quality. And so when I see something that has quality and that might be kind of put in a museum and lost, you know, as being some sort of cultural heritage, I think it's dangerous. So what I try to do is just bring life to it by, by challenging it. I challenge these things, I don't just uh, you know, feed on them. I'm like a collector of ideas. I, I think I will be eternally a student of life and I don't consider myself a master in anything really, except in, in seeing that there is so much quality. He has uh, respect about tango, but he is introducing another elements and another ideas. Uh, then I said, okay, this is tango, but with a new ideas, it's, it's nice. Really nice, I love it. <laughs>